After disgruntled applicants unsuccessfully sued Harvard and the University of North Carolina, conservative activist Edward Blum took their cases to the Supreme Court. His argument? Race-conscious admissions policies are tantamount to racial discrimination. You cannot uh, cure um, uh, racial discrimination that occurred in the past with new discrimination today. The admissions policies in question take race into account, among the other factors, when choosing between qualified candidates. And historically, the policies have promoted diversity. The University of Michigan had to stop its diverse admissions policy in 2006, and in the 15 years that followed, black enrollment had dropped from 7% to 4%. You would think that if you're talking about educational equity, you would want a diverse educational pool that also lifts that person like me that is really the lowest on the rung. I'm worried that it's going to set um, America back, that it's going to limit opportunities for students of color. But the court's conservative justices decided that race could not be a factor in university admissions. President Biden quoted the dissenting voices on the Supreme Court. The dissent states in today's decision, quote, rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress, end of quote. I agree with that statement from the dissents. Adding that discrimination still exists in America. Meanwhile, the American right is hailing the ruling as a win for meritocracy. Former President Donald Trump called Thursday a great day for America. And his main rival for the Republican primary, Ron DeSantis, said the decision ended discrimination by colleges and universities. Six of the nine justices on the Supreme Court were appointed by Republican presidents. And the conservative lineup made headlines last year for upending the constitutional right to abortion.